Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer was in New York Tuesday to launch the much-awaited Office 365. The new version of Microsoft's Office is a response to the rising popularity of cloud-based applications for collaboration and communication. It will offer a variety of hosted productivity applications. We believe that effective collaboration is a lot more than good group dynamics. It's a matter of instant access to relevant information, of ideas flowing freely, and of the right people taking the right action at the right time. Starting today, Office 365 will deliver on those promises and is available in over 40 different geographies around the globe, with more to come. Officials demonstrated Office 365 capabilities like the ability for multiple users to jointly collaborate and edit documents in real time, not only from PC browsers, but also from mobile devices. Office 365 offers customers the option to have Office productivity applications like Word and Excel either through Office Web Apps, the online version of Office, or through the full-fledged on-premise Office Professional Plus 2010 delivered via a subscription model. Users can work on documents together while holding an online meeting with multiple people or on a one-on-one -on -one video chat. Document editing features and messaging functions can also be accessed via mobile phone. Microsoft also brought along beta testers of Office 365 to talk about why they're interested in moving to the new software. The main interest was getting that exchange online, calendaring, sharing, um, having that big business tool for my small business. And having that exchange online lets me and my wife share our calendars with each other, schedule appointments, not over schedule someone. Uh, we also use the Link Online service, it allows us to interact with our customers and some of our district managers face to face, share desktops and documents together in, in an online meeting, so to say. Um, we're looking at ways of using our SharePoint to share our documents with those, with those uh, carriers that we represent with our insurance companies. And it's just that everyone seems to use Microsoft Word and Excel for their business needs, and it just made sense to, to use the service for that. Office 365 comes with a wide range of configuration and price options, starting from an email-only version that costs $2 per user per month to the most sophisticated option, which costs $27 per user per month. With reporting by Mark Ferranti in New York, I'm Nick Barber, IDG News Service.